This little fantasy you have of taking Emma from here and having her live safe and sound under Chandler's roof is not going to happen. And not because of me, because your daughter up there made it loud and clear. Oh, yes, Ryan, about. because you've been poisoning her. No, oh, you're the only one who's been poisoning Emma. You have alienated Emma all on your own. You know what? Go back to Adam's place and take a good look around the big empty house because Emma is going to stay here. Oh, please don't say we'll see about that or some other yawn-worthy cliché. Okay. How's this one, then? You can both go to hell. I mean, when you look at him, what do you see for him? I want him to be happy. Healthy. I want him to be safe. Well, if that's... It's definitely like the ultimate mommy checklist, but what else? I mean, do you, do you see siblings for him? Where do you see him living? What college do you want him to go to? College? I don't even know what college I'm going to. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, before you make any huge life decisions, you, you should probably come up with some sort of plan. Liza, how am I supposed to make plans for his future when I'm just a kid myself? way more grown up than you think. And Emma was about to tell me, she was about to tell me, she even said that she had a secret. And then, of course, Annie walked in and she freaked out. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Believe me, I did everything I possibly could to, to try to keep that psychopath oh, down it's here. Okay. It's okay, it's just... I mean, as much as I hate Emma being in pain, this anger that she's got towards Annie, towards Adam, the whole thing, I think... It, I mean, in a way, it could work in our favor. You know, it's just... It's just that Emma is also angry with me. She wanted us both out of the room, and I just... What? Well, listen, I, I, I called Zach. Why? Because it did seem like Emma was on the verge of telling the truth, and... Well, he's been working his angle, and you've been working yours. Protecting my daughter is, is not an angle. Oh, no, of course not. I, I, I know that. Of course, I well, just that the two were finally coming together, and, and so it just made sense that he should be here. Why, oh, so we could run upstairs and interrogate her? That's the last thing Emma needs right now. But Zach would never hurt Emma. He already has. He's already pushed too hard before. Look, I, I, know, I know you've got an idea of Zach and I being some sort of, like, dynamic duo or something, Yes, but... well, why not? I mean, you two are both, you... On the same team? No, we're not. The only team that I'm on right now is Emma's. I, I, the only person I can think about right now is my daughter. Well, then you understand exactly how I feel. Look, I should probably go. Oh, Erica, No, I'm really, sorry. really, really. Uh, we are both worked up and, and we're both on edge, so I think it's a good idea for us just to take a little time. Uh, oh, Zach, hey. sorry. Uh, you wasted a trip. Uh, it seems that I really shouldn't have called you. I'll let Ryan explain. I do hope that Emma feels better. I take it things with Andy didn't go as planned. We got a new problem. Emma knows about our wedding. How did you tell her? I didn't tell her. She overheard me talking to Ryan. Now she's all upset. She locked herself in her room. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't get to her, Adam. And she's carrying around this enormous secret. What if she says something to Ryan? Oh, she won't do that. You, you were, you've instructed her not to. You weren't there. You didn't see how angry she was. I'm afraid it's all about to come out. Oh. So she locked herself in her bedroom. Yes, she did. And the hardest part about this is that she wants to tell the truth. She wants us to get it out. I, she tried. All right. So maybe we need to switch our focus from Emma to her mother. We've been doing that. We've been doing that like a million different ways. I know, but Annie's got to feel vulnerable right now. Emma turned on her. We just need a little more time. That's what we need. You know what we need? We need to take a different approach. I mean, you're right. We need to change our focus. But Annie's not our guy. We need to put the heat on Adam. Thanks again.
in for dinner? Anytime. You gotta know you're playing with fire. Letting that girl anywhere near your son. Well, I thought you'd be her biggest fan. I mean, she is Stuart's biological mother, so that does give her the right to have him whenever she wants, right? Come on, you can't compare your situation to mine. Oh, yes, I can. What, you, you, you took Trevor away from his home, from Jake and Amanda, because you thought you had the right. I'm just trying to be a friend here. I can see how much you love that little boy. Yes, as much as Jake loves Trevor. Okay, fine. Call me a hypocrite. And maybe I am. But don't say I didn't warn you. Why would you go after Adam? He doesn't remember anything about that night. Yeah, that's because Hayward was feeding pills all the night. You know what they say about getting somebody's memory back? Try to recreate their mental state. So you want to drug Adam? Yeah, why? Well, you got a better idea? Maybe the best thing is for Emma to just tell the truth. Sh she can't. Well, who, who, holding on to this secret has got to be killing her. God knows it's about to kill me. Adam, what's wrong? Adam? <laughs> 